Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a different one because I'm pretty convinced that I have purchased arguably the two best golf clubs on the market and I've got them now and they're in my bag. So I'm gonna play some holes, got button on the camera because I got fit for these clubs and I think they're gonna absolutely transform my game. So we're over at Crondon Park, it's a windy day, which is good and you'll find out shortly why that is good. But we're gonna play a few holes, see what I shoot. I'm gonna play all of the holes, so keep a running track of the score. But mainly it's about two clubs in my golf bag today. I'll tell you what one of them is when we get to the first tee. Be careful, but you fell over then, didn't you? So, first tee at our home course, the lovely Crondon Park. If you're in the Essex area, you wanna come play a proper golf course, it's gonna beat you up if you don't play well, come and play Crondon. Fairways are good, greens are immaculate, quick. And they're building a brand new clubhouse for us golfers, for us members. Just what, just what you wanna see from your home club, you know? You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> but yeah, so I've bought two new golf clubs and I'm gonna hit one of them. Now, and that golf club that I'm gonna hit, ladies and gentlemen, is the Mizuno Fly high two iron. How good does that look? Come on now, be honest. She's a beauty, isn't she? So the reason I wanted this is because I had a hybrid in my bag, a TSI free hybrid, and I stupidly put an even roll, even roll, even flow Project X extra stiff shaft in it. It weighed about 190 grams. It seemed like it weighed that much, and I just couldn't hit it. And I want something in the winter, because it does get windy where we live, that's going to be able to keep the ball flight a little bit lower. So I went and got fit down at the UK Golf Academy and then put my order in with Clubhouse Golf. You know that. And they're here. So this is the first time using them. Going to play some holes. I'll get onto what the second club is in a minute. You might have seen it if you follow us on Instagram. But let's get it underway. Let's see what I can shoot with the old fly high and the <whistles> secret. You ready, Boob? Nice. Let's get Uh Might drag you for 18. <laughs> I don't know. Five or six. We'll see how we get on. Right. Straight into wind. Come on, baby, don't let me down. I've just sung your praises. Miss the sand, miss the sand. Miss it. Oh. How nice was that though? Forward flight, penetrating. Didn't absolutely button it either, but it still went out there. I'm telling you, these two clubs, this one and the one that I'll show you on, not the next hole, the hole after, They've got to be some of the best clubs on the market and you need to be going to try them. Let me be the guinea pig, guinea pig. Let me spend my money checking out these clubs and I'll let you know what to buy. Perfect. Just perfect. Uh, I'm just going to hack a seven iron, try and, um, try and just advance it. I don't know if it's, it can't be a seven iron. It's going to have to be a nine iron. <laughs> what did you say? Well out. Yeah. Up and down. Back flag, loads of green to work with. I ain't panicking at you. I'm 35 playing. Back into wind. It is pick and place now in the winter. So we'll give that a little little leg rub. I said you not need to mark it before you pick it up. Shut up, boop. This is just a friendly little I've got a new club video, I don't know why he's taking it so deep. Right, get out of my way, 135 pitching much. Front, front, middle, is it? Oh, I think it's, I think it's short. There's a little mound there that you've got to navigate, get over the top of it. I don't think that has. Oh, no, boom. Just needed a few more yards to get up that mound, and then this would have been a much easier putt, but here we are, to save par. Left to right, up the slope. I haven't played on these greens in ages, so I have no idea of speed. Do you know what it is though, right? Do you know what it is? Hold this putter, I've just done that stupid fucking putter review, and swing that back and forward in your hands. My hands feel so light. Kim BJM, if you haven't watched it, go and give it a watch. Piss off. Two over, through one. Lucky, it's not really about scoring this video, that's just about showing you the new clubs, you know? Good start. Two over, through one, but the two iron was hit well, so I'm gonna hit it again. Bit of a bad break, being, um, being stuck on that entrance to the bunker, but this is all about the new club. 
So Mizuno fly high again. This is one of the holes that I've actually been looking forward to playing this club, this club on. Nice little short par four. The further down there you can get the better. Four iron gets me just before the bunker, so I'm hoping my two iron can just fly it. I'm gonna take it a little bit, little bit left edge and just hit a good one, hopefully. Don't know. Maybe it would have carried it, maybe it wouldn't. Only one way to find out. Let's go have a look. All right, so it carried the bunker. Like I said it would. For all of you little tech freaks out there, I want to know what spec I got this in. So I went for the Fly High 2 iron, which is a standard 16.5 degrees worth of loft. So it's a little bit lower lofted than your standard 2 iron. Um, I went for the Hazardous RDX Stiff Shaft. I went stiff in this because the extra stiff, it's too much of like a forward penetrating ball flight. The stiff just puts a little bit more spin onto it, so the 6.0, 80 grams. So I can still hit this a little bit higher, but then I can take control shots and hit it lower if I want to. And then just the standard Golf Pride multi-compound grey and black grip on it. But I just thought it was absolutely stunning. The way that it sits behind the ball, there's a lot of help behind here, which I like. So yeah, that's the two iron that's gone in my bag. I'd recommend go giving it a try. I am left with kind of a front flag, but the only thing helping me is it's an upslope to the flag. So 60 degree, plot this on, hole it, back to level par. We'll forget the first hole even happened. Not quite, but it's an uphill birdie putt. Sorry about it, if you can hear excess noise, they're picking up the leaf, it's off the fairway. Look at that, look, proper bit of kit, proper club. Proper, proper golf club. Hey, boob. This, this putter feels like a featherweight compared to that one I've just been using, but it's good to have the even roll back in my hands. Oh, yeah. oh. Tapping par. Disappointing, really, from where I was. Thought I'd hit that uh, 60 degree more than hard enough to get there, but... I hadn't, still two over. On to the next tier, I'm gonna use my next new golf club. I know I can love this thing, honestly. Buttons hit it as well. Everyone who's hit it has been like, is mi bueno. Next tee, I'll show you. Right, and then the next new golf club in my bag. I hate it when I do that, didn't you, babe? Right, next new golf club in the bag. You might've seen it on Instagram but it is the Ping G425 Max Freewood. Now, specs in this, for all the spec tech heads, it's a 10 side orange, which is a giveaway, that's, that's a Ping, Ping shaft, uh, 75 gram extra stiff flex. 14 and a half degrees, these come in as standard, and I've got it on standard, and I absolutely adore this thing. And the reason I absolutely adore this thing is because it's super, super narrow from top to bottom, but it's quite wide from toe to heel. And for me, that just suits my eye every single day of the week. Now, over the past few weeks, I've hit a lot of freewoods before pulling the trigger on this one. And it is just the best thing I've ever hit. I'll say all that now and I'll spoon this one, but it is by far the easiest golf club in the world to hit. So I'll usually hit driver on this hole. I'm gonna go freewood. It'll leave me a little bit further back. I'll probably have like a five iron into the green, but I've gassed it up now, better a good shot. <laughs> How good is that? How good? How good is that? Honestly, get it off me. How good? Uh, I don't know, maybe like a five out of 10? No, seriously. No, it's seriously good. It is unreal, isn't it? Yeah, that's better than any driver you've hit here. See, this club is so good, honestly. I cannot describe how easy it is how forgiving it is, the flight on it is just so good. You can hit it high, you can hit it low. I hit it so straight. This is a game changer for me. I've never been, a oh, little disclaimer for everyone at home, I've never been fit for a freewood before. Um, so I'd always had like off the shelf freewoods and I played around with, with putting my own custom shafts in it, Project X shafts, etc., etc. And then when I just thought, you know what? I'm doing myself a disservice. I'm standing on here in video saying, I can't stress you guys enough, go get fit. And I won't even fit for them clubs myself. So. I went and got fit for them, and you'll see, I'm gonna hit it a few more times around this few holes, but it is just unbelievably good. You have to go and try it. They, they've, they've always said, didn't they, Boo, about the Ping G425 driver being like the most forgiving thing ever. 
the, the free wood is absolutely no different. And it goes out there as well. It's just oh, it's so good. Let's see if I can make eagle get back to level. 183, slightly down. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. Really need a, uh, really need an eagle here. So I'm just gonna go straight at the flag, aggressive. See what I can pull out the bag. If it's the number, it's good. If it is the number, it is good. See it bounce once, which, which tends to suggest it might have landed a little bit short and then run up. We are gonna have an eagle look, I think, ladies and gentlemen. I need to stop saying ladies and gentlemen. Someone said that the other day. There's no ladies that watch this. Our demographic's like 99.8% men button. Do you know that? Do now. Eagle putt. All right, she did come up a little bit short, unfortunately. But it's not a bad thing on this hole. You just cannot go long and left because there's a little feed off that, that will just take you straight off the green. So little 54 degree wedge, just try and bump it as a leaf just to the right of the flag, which I'm going to try and take as my direct line. Hopefully it's going to land and then just start to break to the left as we get closer to the hole. Up and down for the birdie. That's landed so soft. I haven't played here since it's been wet, really. Usually the greens are electric, but they're not, which I need to know because I'm playing a plus four handicap tomorrow in the match. So it's all good knowledge. Got that for birdie still. All right, probably about eight and a half feet left for birdie. Not loads of swing in this, playing this pretty straight. Oh. When do you think I'll learn that when I'm just doing these stroke play videos, just, just mark it or like just actually try and make the putt? I'm going to give myself the second one. I'm not going to give myself that first one. It's another free putt. Three over after chipping for eagle. Onto the fourth. Decent. I'm 42. <laughs> it's going to be three or two iron. It's going to be an eight iron. This isn't a hole, unfortunately, I can, uh, I can hit one of the chosen clubs on. So it's just going to be a nice little, take some spin off of it, eight iron. Getting to the greens, all right, at the minute. It's just getting the ball in the hole. Seems to be the problem. Go a little bit. Not bad. Hit a little bit too soft. And now I've left myself <laughs> absolutely horrendous putt again. Free putt coming up, called it here. Free putt coming right up. Somebody order a free putt. I can give you it, I can serve you it up. Up the hill, right to left. It's really threw me off that other putt, boob. This feels super light now. And I'll be completely honest with you all, I have no idea how hard to hit this. <sighs> Weren't good either. To be honest. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, it's to remain at three over. Through three. Good news is the two iron and the three wood's absolutely beautiful. Bad news is I can't putt to save my fucking life. Can't putt to save my life. Need to sort that out for tomorrow. Right, fifth hole, stroke index one. Back to the high fly, two iron. Nice, this club for this hole, because when you're playing in the summer and you're playing off of the whites, you really need something that's gonna get you over the top of that brow. Four iron just doesn't do it, and it leaves you like 220 yards uphill into this flag. So, hoping that the little Mizuno two, two high fly can just cozy me up over that brow and closer down towards that lake. Not the best strike. But up over the brow where I need to be on this hole. Hit that one terribly as well. Not good at all, but result above average. Dreading getting on the green and putting, boob. Dreading it. 
All right, it's lucky that it's winter always, isn't it? Because you land in that, you ain't happy, are you? Two iron done what it needed to do there. Not the best strike, but it got me up over this brow, which my four iron doesn't. Still got a long way in though, 189 into the flag. Slightly into, I'm gonna try and muscle a seven iron. It's a front flag, so just a little bit short. Isn't the end of the world, to be honest. It's a little bit heavy. It's gonna to need to travel. Yeah, not my cleanest of strikes, up and down needed for par, but maybe we'll just stop the score counter. Because on the next time, I'm gonna hit freeward, freeward to show you the Ping G425 Max again into the par five. I mean, we should have stopped after the first, shouldn't we? But... Shut up, boob. Not the easiest shot this one either, to be honest. I'm gonna land it on the flag though, because it's just stopping dead. I'll try to anyway, 60 degree. It's a good shot, but the greens are just very, very wet. Do you fancy me, sir, to, fancy me to box that one, boob? Me either. Does anyone at home? Get down in the comments, write it right now. Just write yes or no, I wanna see who thinks I will. I don't think I will. It's not gonna be short. And I'm gonna really try to not miss it on the low side either. Bogey. Five. five over through five. I think I doubled the first, parred the second, bogeyed the third, bogeyed the fourth, bogeyed the fifth. Five over through five. Last hole, sixth, Ping G425 max. Freewood, freewood, 530 yard par five. Let's hit the green. Not the best day in the office. Good day for these new clubs. Bad day for my scoring, but this is, it wasn't about that. It was about showing you guys the best golf clubs on the market at the current moment in time for the high end of your bag. Freewood, freewood, free putt. <laughs> Come on. Freewood, freewood, free putt, par. There's part one. I absolutely adore this golf club. Adore it. High little draw, adore. Ja adore, high draw. <laughs> ja adore, high draw. <laughs> That's going on a t shirt. That's step one, done. Step two, another one of them. Hit the green. Step three, free stab, par. Five over through six, sign the video out. Head over to Clubhouse Golf Black Friday deals coming out soon. You might be able to pick one of these clubs up for cheap. 278 left into the flag. Not going to get there, it's back into wind, but just see if I can crunch another one of these. Get me down there somewhere. Ah, oh, fatted it. Dead straight though. Probably gone about 200 yards. Just goes to show the forgiveness of this club. Straight down the middle still, you know? Didn't move, on a rope. On a rope. Hate this game. Hate it. Hopefully just two more shots. 67 yards. 54 degree, it's pitching uphill to that flag, so I need to get the whole way there. Pretty decent, you'd like to think I'm not gonna free putt that from there, so even if I two putt it and make a par, we can end on a positive. <laughs> These are the real positives, but we can end on a positive. I'm never gonna line it up, boob. Then we're going to line it up. Sit, 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 sit. <sighs> oh. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry, gentlemen, it's just gentlemen. <laughs> Cross maybe one lady or two that watches it. That is my two new clubs, Pingju 2 G425 Max Freewood, which I absolutely adore. Mizuno High Fly 2 Iron, which I absolutely adore. 
that's going to take a little bit more getting used to than the free wood. The free wood I've just fell in love with straight away. I would highly recommend going to try them clubs if you are in the market for a two iron or a free wood. You know where to go, Clubhouse Golf, if you want one. As always, thanks for tuning into the video. Sorry I free stab every single hole pretty much. I hope you got a good look at the clubs though. See you in the next one. Appreciate you all. Subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, like, ring bell, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go get a putting lesson, I think, babe. See you, everyone.